Going, okay, okay. No, it's it's good. good. Shut up. Fine then. Greetings, folks. Welcome to <laughs> Blipcast, the boring lives. <laughs> the, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start over. Sorry, go ahead. Boring lives, interesting people podcast. I am Daniel. Can I go? <laughs> I like this episode already. Yeah. Go. I'm waiting on you. Hurry. <laughs> Katie, Katie Lee, blah, 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 whatever. Lowly, <laughs> 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 on the 22nd. PhD, a.k.a. the new little K. And Kyle tried to add something, but I don't remember what it was. I felt like we've already tried to add something else, too, and it's, mm-hmm. it's gone. Yeah. Uh, it so it might be long enough. Maybe. Have you filled a page yet with it? No. Soon. Soon. <laughs> You're just using, like, tack on the, entire, the entirety of all the lyrics of Banana Phone. We all have to say all of them. Okay. And at the end, AK and they look at. All right. Don't. Don't. Not worth your time. <laughs> not worth my time. If you were to start doing that in episode 26, I'd probably leave the room and never come back. Oh. That'd be an interesting way to. Yeah, and I live here. <laughs> <laughs> be an interesting way to end the show. Katie. Yes. Episode 25. Yeah. Quarter century. Or something. That's where everyone told me when I turned 25. Everyone. Quarter century, how's it feel? It's fine. But anyway, <laughs> uh, this, the show is not 25 years old. No, it's n- not quite. And we really have not done enough episodes for it to be like experienced enough to be 25 years old. <laughs> right. It's, <laughs> it's barely walking at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it might know words. We don't. No, like, we certainly don't. The show might know like Papa and podcast. And Papa? Papa. I don't know. <laughs> We've never taught it that word. We've never said that word on, on the show before. That seems possible, completely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you grab that what? CD right there that's sticking out? Yes, that one. It's like that you have KSSU one. systems just in place all the time. Uh, that was actually for a show I went to. I was going to take it with me as driving listening. Oh. And then I wound up taking an entire stack of different CDs. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one, actually. Oh. Uh, Katie, how have you been? I've been okay. I haven't really done much. Um, it dawned on me last night that... I have to actually do work this semester. Ugh. Didn't you hate that when you kind of realize it? Oh, yeah. Is this like your first worky one in a while? Or uh, I've never had to like actually uh, do gross. work. I yeah. I remember that one too. Uh. <laughs> You're like me and kind of just coast. And yeah. It works and out. It works out. And yeah, I get A's same. and it's fine. I get A's, but I coast on B's. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I have to like actually read things, which is kind of a pain in the ass because a lot of Gross. philosophy is dry. Uh, yeah. And so that's exciting. And I have a lot of essays that I have to do. And I can't write anymore because I don't have time. <laughs> and basically, I'm dying on the inside because I'm like, I want to write. I want to write. I don't want to do anything else. I want to write. But I can't. Quit your job. I've been I telling want, you that for a while. I want to. Well, there you go. I don't have any other income, though. And, like, I don't know. S- sell locks of your hair. There's Would that sell? Would you buy that? There's probably a dark corner of Craigslist that'll buy blonde girl's hair. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to. You know, have a, a dark period in your life you don't tell people about later, but at least you'll be able to get through these last few years of college and be able to write and not hate life. I don't think I grow my hair quite quick enough for that. Not like entire chunks, just like just two like <laughs> two inch things at a time. Enough to make like Barbie dare Barbie doll hair. Out of Barbie dare. Barbie dare. <laughs> Barbie dare you to cut off your hair and sell it online. That's probably a thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Barbie dare. <laughs> well, like. Speaking of bark, bark, ah, words are terrible. <laughs> Dark things on Craigslist. Um, I always look on the media and TV side of Craigslist for mm-hmm. jobs yeah. in the area just because I'm hopeful, I guess. Yeah. Alan, there's three listings that are always on there. Okay. There's always a listing for, are you misrepresenting yourself online and would like to reveal yourself to the person you're lying to? There is always. <laughs> yes. It's basically, are you catfishing someone? <laughs> The next one is, um, are you in a paternity, or are you in doubt of the paternity of your child and you want to find out on TV, Uh, which basically is like a Maury type show. Right. And then the third one is for cam models. 
looking for fit 18 to 25 year old somethings. Hmm. Some men, some women, mostly women. Hmm. And that's uh, that's the field I have a degree in <laughs> on Craigslist. <laughs> Those three apparently. Occasionally, there's like this one little pop up that like wants a producer for a Christian radio station that I've never heard of that sounds horrifying. Because <laughs> I look it up and it doesn't look real. They that's might try and wear my skin, but awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's that's part of what I've been doing. I've been looking online for job type things. I need to do that. Unrelated, I got us a new microphone. Here it is. Woo! Looks like the other one. But I put the fluff on it. Yeah, it's loose. It's shinier, though. You jealous? I'm pretty jealous. Yeah, she probably should be. (laughs) At least no one will be able to hear you. Yeah, whenever (laughs) we have a guest on. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, and that show I mentioned about driving to, um, have I ever bumped? Yeah, I played them last week. We'll come to that, too. Uh, Mm -hmm. I played The Shining before. Shining is a band that plays black jazz metal. I saw them. They were really, really, really good live, but I don't think they have a draw or a good like promo in san francisco because there's maybe 30 people there well the show is supposed to be in slims mm-hmm. which is where we saw between the Baron and me right holds about 400 500 people uh instead it was moved down the street to this place called the dna lounge which is a goth nightclub oh and uh, downstairs with a venue but then they also have an upstairs room for really really tiny bands and that's where the show was moved to. oh that's so sad the max would have been maybe 75 people there was about 30 Oh. This band came all the way from Norway for their first American tour. And, oh. Uh, I felt so bad for him. That's so terrible. But it was a really, really cool set. And it's funny because the guy's like on stage being this like big rock star kind of mm-hmm. front man. And then like in between one of their sets, this, you hear this voice going, I like The Shining. <laughs> and he's like, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> and it's like Norwegian accent. And it's this French guy who's like, I've seen you three times in Paris. <laughs> and he's oh. like, where? He's like, Paris. He's like, named the three times he saw me. He's like, oh, it's amazing. He's like, can you play Helter Skelter? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, uh, we're not going to play it right now, but we'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like how the whole rock star shtick just fell apart. And he just became like this really polite guy. Just, oh, he's seen us. But it was like that kind of show where it's like, there's no one here. Fuck it. That's so cute. So it wound up being really, really fun. And then uh, they they're fucking really, really good live. It's a bummer that they well, didn't have like a full production, but they'd be good opening for someone. That'd be neat. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Katie, what have you done? Uh, I, well, apparently, like the day before the season finale, I finally started watching Breaking Bad. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Last weekend, I watched the first season. Seven oh, ep- like seven episodes. Well, fuck you. I don't have that kind of time. Right now, <laughs> uh, behind the recording program is season two, episode five, with seven minutes left in it. So I'm way behind. What do you think? Uh, I was completely and utterly enticed by the first, like, five minutes of the first episode. Yeah. It's weird, It's right? It's so awesome. Like, I understand the hype now. Yeah. I hate that feeling, but I love that feeling at the same time. <laughs> See, th- I, w- I was watching the first episode, like, with doubt, because if you cut the story down to its very, very basic thing. It's dumb. It's weeds. Yeah, it it's is. It's a middle-aged white person selling drugs. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I fucking love weeds. <laughs> oh. but, but first three seasons after that, it's garbage. <laughs> uh, and from judging by everywhere on social media, mm. Breaking Bad ends well. I don't know how yet. I don't want to know. Yeah, I I'm. Don't, no spoilers. <laughs> all, all I've got was like people saying it's one of my favorite shows now, and I was like, that seems weird for people who obsess about it to be yeah. like, it's my favorite show now. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping I can avoid spoilers on it for. I don't know, like a month, because I could probably get through it about a month. Yeah. Because there's short seasons. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm on board. You're on board. Yeah, I'll That's try fun. and finish it in like a month, and we'll have a, have a oh, talk about man. it. <laughs> <laughs> Episode thirty will be like just spoiler. spoiler. <laughs> oh my god, that thing with the guy in the face with the drugs and the meth. It'll just be the spoiler episode, and then nobody will watch it. It'll spoiler episode too, because we had that one. Oh yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> it's like fucking. What do we even spoil? Like everything ever. I don't know. Wow. It was um That was a long one. I don't was it. still back at um My parents. The old yeah. Studio one. Studio one. <laughs> Cat box one. <laughs> so Katie, um you may have noticed and I'm sure our vi- viewers and listeners may have noticed. I trimmed my beard. You did. Yeah, um I didn't mean to go this far to <laughs> basically where it used to be all the time. Right. 
but my guide is retarded. Oh. And I wanted it to be like maybe half, three quarters of what it was. But when I started, it was like, all right, well, <laughs> I have to commit now because <laughs> hair shaving stuff. I thought an eight was much longer than it is. It's not. This is an eight, apparently. And it's. Uh, well, they, don't they go from big to small? Like the small. Mm, the bigger the number, I... the longer the thing? Because yes. I thought it was the smaller the number. The mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Usually on my head, I get a four whenever I, I cut it, uh-huh. which is, I think, either a quarter inch or half an inch. So that I doesn't assume... doesn't make any sense, though, because... I assumed an eight would be, I don't know, an inch. Because when you cut it, it's, like, longer than... Weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense, so I basically have to wait six more months before I get my beard back. Aww. And I decided as I was trimming, I'm like, well, I'm just going to grow it long again. <laughs> this is very uncomfortable now. <laughs> Well, so then. I did that, and then um, before that, you were there for this. I started doing radio again because mm-hmm. I missed it real bad. So KSSU.com, Thursdays from 5 to 7 p.m. PST for Far Beyond Metal. <laughs> I'm back doing that whole thing, being the old guy at the station. and It was it was fun. I had a good time. People stopped in. By people, I mean Zach and Zach, and you were there. And Kyle. And Kyle, yes. <laughs> and regular K. Capital K? Capital K. Is he capital? Is that his He's actual? capital K, yeah. Oh, my God. I named him. Yes. That's awesome. It's capital K, um, the artist formerly known as Little K. <laughs> so he took a page out of your book by having an unnecessarily long nickname. Yes. And I called him out and he was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the sports scramble being like, you stole my shtick. <laughs> you shtick stealer. You're a dirty stealing shtick stealer who steals But then he'd never be on my show again. Well, you could have done that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and he's the one you're going to become his documentor or something i guess <laughs> I, I don't i mean because he he came back on whatever day it was i think it was on thursday um of last week or something i don't know a time he came back his time and he's like well this this doesn't look like it's gonna work oh because um, <laughs> okay there's like as he was saying on, on your show when we weren't live um there's like 3,000 or something applicants and mm-hmm. like the people aren't responding to him very well and they're basically just looking for people that have super elegiate that's not a word elegiate that is a word but that's not what it means you'll um, have to come back to that word <laughs> I'd ask you to look it up but your phone sucks in here Sh- it, shut up um. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bitter episode <laughs> I'm tired. So I'm am I. sick. And I'm anyway. Sick. Well, now I'm going to be sick because you're breathing all the microphone I put in my mouth. You put this in your mouth? Your mouth gets that big? Even my mouth doesn't get that big. And you have a gigantic <laughs> mouth. That's what you're known for, right? Yeah. Now I just want to know what my uvula sounds like. Oh, okay. It's not true. I can't <laughs> put that in my mouth anymore. Uh, I don't even remember what I said anymore. Maybe it's not actually a word. Yeah, fuck. It's not showing up. So it's not. Eulogic. I'm thinking of collegiate, and collegiate. that's not the word I meant. Collegiate? Is that what you said? Or something like that. Anyway, um, shut up. Shut uh, up. <laughs> tell your story. I'm going to start editing these out. <laughs> shut up and tell your story. <laughs> so, okay, he emailed this guy, and he's like, um, what university are you from? And he's like, California State, Sacramento. And he's like... With that kind of uh, enthusiasm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he's Just like, oh, is that in Los Angeles? Plus, <laughs> it's in the same state, I guess. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know if to blame the fucking retarded person who was asking him the question or if it's because they're really that shallow there at the embassy and they're just like, hey. And this is in England? In London. London. Okay, they just, well. They probably just hired super stupid people to like... <laughs> <What's> <laughs> I don't know on? what they're watching the other room. <laughs> um, so they just like they just don't know. Well, I don't blame them for not knowing geography of California, but well, I kind of do because I mean, there's the capital, and then there's L.A. and well, in in England, there are state like things, right? Yeah, I don't know what they're called. I couldn't tell you the capital of any of them. If it's the shoes on the other foot. I don't blame them, but I'm an ignorant American, so that's my deal. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's that's part of it, the ignorant American thing, because like we don't learn world Rochester. geography. We only basically know place. U.S., and yeah. most of us don't even know that. I know of some Canada places. 
Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Canada. And so, I don't know. I mean, it's like, if they're going to be working in international relations. Oh, uh, good point. If they should know at least something about, like, the eighth biggest economy in the world. Dear England, write your letter. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't worry, don't worry if we have British listeners. For those people who may have at one point, email us in bluecast at gmail dot com. Yell at Katie, tell her why she's wrong. Or right. Let's fight. Why not? Also, um, can I live with you? Can I just come to England and live with you? It'd be yeah, fine. you guys can argue in house arguments. That sounds great, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right That's how I'll pay my rent. <laughs> she'll pay you in arguments and smut. Um, That's what I'm good at. <laughs> Katie, last time we did a show, did I talk about a particular movie I saw that involved, uh, like high high winded cyclones, full oh. of sharks? <laughs> no, you have not. I watched Sharknado, Katie. <laughs> it was it was quite a while ago, actually, but yeah, it was it was kind of great. Really? Yeah, it's it's one of the worst good bad movies I've ever seen. Okay. Like I'd re rewatch it in a large audience with a bunch of friends the way i watched it was with uh two two people mm -hmm. and i don't think i'd watch in that setting again because it just winds up being a small thing but if it's a big like audience kind of thing that right. seems so fun <laughs> but it's absolutely ridiculous terry is terrible the main guy is awful there's a lo like a weird like side love story between a man and a stool <laughs> um that does sound pretty amazing. That and uh, there's a weird like period joke at one point when someone's eaten. It's, oh. a, it's a very strange film, like <laughs> as far as humor and what's supposed to be funny, what's clearly not supposed to be funny. Okay. Uh, I, I that's not my recommendation for the week, but I highly recommend Sharknado. <laughs> I know we're I'm way behind on that train as well, but uh, <laughs> oh, it's, uh, well, it's a laugh riot, if you will. Okay. I'll, I'll maybe check it out. I don't know. I have too many things I have to watch and read and like what? do. Like, I still have to read the rest of Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's right. How's your song thing going? Oh, uh, not. <laughs> okay, the answer's that. <laughs> I just kind of, like, stopped the YouTube thing. So I was like, I'm not posting videos anymore. I don't have time. And I don't know. I mean, it. you know how self-conscious I am about singing? Except apparently it's Banana Phone. <laughs> banana Phone, yes. <laughs> Look um, for that in bonus. <laughs> but I mean, like, I just don't like to be around people when I'm doing it. I can do it in front of a camera. That's fine. Post it. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, no, go. But, like, no. See? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, in forever episodes ago when you asked me to sing um, that one song by Rammstein, I just, I couldn't, like, I can't bring myself to do it. Rammstein isn't singing either. It's kind of like Not a weird, that. No, like a weird cause grunt. He does sing in oh, semen. You living in a muddy car, Coca Cola, wunderbar. <laughs> 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 he does sing, although. Still. No. Stop it. I like kicking wires. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it increases my dexterity. Is that some weird like D and D deal? <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be, but and it technically it doesn't have to be, but in my Dexterity mind... Dexterity only exists in D&D. &D. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's... So you uh, have to Lord of the Rings. And, and, the entire list. What do you and have to watch? Harry Potter, and um, let's see. Did you finish Harry Potter? I haven't, no. Wow. I know. For size you fly a Nurk flag? I know. See, I, don't, I got to book four and stopped, and I'm very Same. open about... Really? I I know I'm open about the fact. But so book four is where you stopped. I stopped at the beginning of book four. Oh, I'm past you. I'm bigger <laughs> you. Talking nerdy to metal is my show now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I just I got bored. I don't know why they just got boring. Like before I stopped giving a shit and yeah. I hadn't finished it just because I had started it. And that's why I feel like I need to finish the series. It was like 800 pages. And after that, I was like, I'm done. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I like it's 14 point font and everything, but you're just like. I've been no. carrying this two pound brick with me for like <laughs> know, however long. And I'm just, I don't want to carry any more of these. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm unrelated. No, I'm starting to think that I just need to like find something to do that does not actually get me money. So I can just fucking like write all the time. Because, I mean, having two two things going on in my life, school and work, I can't. Mm -hmm. I have no time. Mm -hmm. No. 
That's why I stopped recording as much. I had to get jobs, make money. Got tired. Oh. Like my guitar over there. I haven't molested it today at all. You should molest it. I will later. <laughs> I think after this, I'm going to go for a bike ride, come home, play some chunky riffs on it, and then, uh, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. I just don't, I don't like this real world thing. It's gross, right? It is. You know what I did the other day? Mm-hmm. Actually, my last weekend from work, I have Tuesday Wednesdays off. Tuesday, I went to Target. I bought new pillows and pillowcases. Do you feel like an adult? <laughs> I feel like a total adult, adult, but my pillows are awesome now. <laughs> Wednesday, I was bored. I went to the store. I got a toothbrush holder. Hmm. Because I didn't have one at this Do you place. like it? Yeah. I mean, it holds my toothbrush upright rather than me setting out on a medicine cabinet, which apparently is not that crazy, but... No, but Ryan, it's our last dirty. guest, keeps his toothbrush in the shower. Oh. Yeah, he brushes his teeth while he showers. There's no toothpaste in the shower. <laughs> Gross. So I don't know if he loads up before and just leaves it in there, or <gasps> shampoo, or can, or uh, oh body God. wash. <laughs> also in the shower, I'm just going to go ahead and narc him on this, because I think it's funny. There is a Scooby-Doo body wash. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I believe that's a gift <laughs> or something, but it smells like grape. So if he ever walks past me and he, he smells, smells like, like grape, grape, he's having a very childish day. Isn't every day for him childish? A little bit. <laughs> he's not here to defend himself. I kind of feel bad. He would he would go right along with oh, it, totally. though. He'd probably be like, you guys are assholes. I totally, <laughs> totally admit to it. Yeah. Guess what I found about by myself, Katie? What? I apparently sleepwalk again. Awesome. Again is the key word there. Yeah. I used to when I was much younger. Mm-hmm. When I still lived in Texas, I would wake up, walk in the front room, just m- mumble shit at my parents, <laughs> and walk back to bed. The other night, um, I was in here, and I was asleep, and I don't know how long I was asleep, but I I found out the next morning, I walked into my roommate's bedroom. They're a couple. Thank God nothing was going on with them. Yeah. And I opened the door, and my roommate Rose was like, Dale, is everything all right? What's up? And I had to go, this is the bathroom. <laughs> and I started walking towards her bathroom. Before she can respond... I'm like, oh, no, it's okay, and I, okay, and I leave. And so I walk out of the room, and I go to my restroom, <laughs> and I pee, and I go to sleep. But I, I don't remember walking in there, and apparently what I said was, I'm just here to use your bathroom. And, no, it's not okay, okay. <laughs> no pauses. And then I went back to, I went to the bathroom, came in here, and laid down. It's horrifying, because... I don't like that idea with <laughs> me traveling and not knowing it. No, yeah, that's pretty creepy. But like. I don't think I have sense. I wound up locking my door the next night because that way I don't think I don't know if I could work at locking them if I'm sleepwalking. But at least you're like coherent though, like because you went first. you <laughs> you went and peed in the bathroom. Like yes. at least you didn't just pee in the hall. Right, that's completely true. Like she she made sure I went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> she like kind of followed me out and like saw I went to the bathroom. I was like, okay, cool. And then she's like, Ryan, that's weird. But I guess she was terrified by it. She thought it was like super scary because I was just like, where is the bathroom? No, no, it's okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, there's this comedian named Mike Birbiglia who mm-hmm. um has this. He had a like a one man show and it became a movie called Sleepwalk with Me. And in it, it's about how you know, sleepwalking basically ruined his life for a while. And at one point in his sleepwalking adventures, he jumped out of a window. So I'm hoping, like, I'm hoping it's a one-time deal. Yeah. And B, I'm hoping it doesn't get to that, because I live on a second story now, and I can't fly very well. So then that'd be a bummer. A little bit. Uh, see, out of my window, there's a... There's a walkway, but there's like a... There's like a four-foot yeah. space where it just drops straight down. Yeah. And, and then you land on concrete. Yeah. Well, no, there's some, like, bark down there. Uh, <laughs> soft bark you know yeah <laughs> and the other way out would be sidewalk so yeah. uh i doubt it'll get to that i hope not that's yeah. pretty creepy i yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I think i've only talked in my sleep when i was sick i have i have pretty good paralysis going on apparently you lack that <laughs> oh when i was asleep yeah, yeah. Mobile. You were like just paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at paralyzed. <laughs> I'm good at paralyzed. Uh, yeah, I mean, I move a lot when I sleep. Anyway, like I move around, I toss oh, yeah. and turn, and I, don't know, I guess I tossed up to my feet and turned out of my room. You tossed up to your feet. feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I threw up on my feet. <laughs> I didn't. Oh goodness. Yes. So that's exciting. Yeah, that's been the most exciting thing about my time. I'm seeing between the buried and me tomorrow. 
for the sixth time. I'm, I'm excited. You go to a lot of shows. I'm like. going to another show Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> See, it doesn't. It felt like there was a dry spell where I didn't go to that many shows, and then there's like three in like a week. Yeah. Uh, Shining, then BT Bam, tomorrow, then um, this town needs guns, and and so I watch you from afar on Saturday, and <laughs> I don't have October up yet. I think I'm going to. Pinkish Black and Kylesa in Sacramento in a couple weeks, and then Red Fang next week, I think. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm seeing Beck in a couple weeks. Well, then. Hey. Hopefully he doesn't. I mean, hopefully he does give you a spiel about Scientology and you learn it. about all the awesome. You know, <laughs> of anyone, I, I listen to him. Because oh the God. whole time he's talking to me, I then just like drop in like, fanboy ness about his songs. He's like, yeah, so anyway, Zunu, I'm like, I fucking love Loser. <laughs> Oh, gold's awesome. <laughs> Can you just say the words to Hell Yes just right now? Stretch to the limit. <laughs> Attention span, snap back, <laughs> track, claps, and laugh track. Noise response, pause, and hand claps. <laughs> just, just start mumbling his own lyrics to him. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Maybe he'll give me $5. That's the goal. Maybe. Back, okay. give me $5. Hashtag right. back $5. Daniel. Okay. We'll have to start tweeting that. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a thing. Katie, what have you for us? Uh, for teachings? Unless you have anything else. I, I don't. Okay. I have just, like, been miserable. Uh, okay. Yes, with those noises, by the way. Okay. Um. Okay, so, we have a word of the episode. There's a dress. dress. I was going to do corset, but then I was like, I'm pretty sure it's corset in French. <laughs> Courses, corset. And French. I don't... <laughs> Which one is that? I don't. Is that the the corset is like the yeah, it goes in at the waist and okay. it's like meh, meh. body, <laughs> um, body, body. <laughs> what is this? Okay, um, and then okay, dress. <gasps> what is dress? Wrong? <laughs> I fucking, I don't even know. My ne- coherence next, level is just. Next episode is just gonna be nap time because I've been up since <laughs> four. I don't know how how long you've been up. Since it's three? No, not since three. Since seven. Oh no! Shut up! I I got up. Okay, listen. I did not have a day off, and I'm not gonna have another day off. Yeah. Probably until whatever. I just gave up on that thought completely. Clearly. <laughs> All right. So in Japanese, it's dressu. Dressu. Mhm. And then in um chibi French. Chibi dressu. Chibi dressu. Yeah, it's chibi means cute, right? No. Chibi. chibi. Kawaii. Kawaii is cute. Kawaii dressu. <laughs> Did it. I'm learning <laughs> shit. Hold on. How do adjectives go? Uh, it'd be. Dressu wa kawaii desu. Kawaii desu? Kawaii desu. Koala. Kawaii desu. Kawaii? Kawaii desu. Des. <laughs> okay. Anyway. No fun for me then. Fine. I'm sorry. Um, And then in French, it's la robe. La robe? Like robe. Oh, uh, la robe. <laughs> <laughs> you just like purred that. That's pretty cool. Robe. Oh yeah, and I was supposed to read about yes, otters you too. Otter facts. Otter facts. Here's the ox that never fact. The ox fact. Here's the ox the fact. We had one of those. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna care about that one, but <laughs> fucking let's do it anyway. The word otter derives from the old wing, old English. <laughs> we're terrible. We have a show where we're supposed to speak and we can't. <laughs> We knew that getting into it, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> the old English word otter or otter, but not with the, not with double T's, by the way. One T. One T. And the first one has an O, so it's otor. Otur. And otter. Otur. Otter. Otter. Oh. <laughs> 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 Words are fun. <laughs> this and cognate words in other Indo-European languages ultimately stem from the Proto-Indo-European, that's a fucked up hyphenated word, yeah, language is. root wodor. Which also gave rise to the English word water. So it's a thing. Uh, it comes from water, and it's n- basically named water. Water. Otter. <laughs> so what you're saying is we're 70% otter as human beings. Yes. Cool. What the fuck? A meowter? Okay, hold on. I hate these facts. <laughs> <laughs> An otter's den is called a holt or couch. Or a couch. couch. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Look at that otter. What, are, what is a group of otters called? Um, it'll What's probably that? tell us. A male otter is called a dog, boar, or meowter. 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 A female is called a bitch, sow, or queen. 
Yeah. I like how those are completely like <laughs> whatever. And a baby is called a pup. The collective nouns for beaters are beaters. What the fuck? Beaters. Honors are bevy, family, lodge, or romp. A romp. Look at that romp <laughs> in their couch. <laughs> This is the best thing ever. <laughs> See, this is why otters win at animals. <laughs> they um, romp in couches. <laughs> or when in water, they're called a raft. Uh, a, a raft. <laughs> a raft <laughs> of otters. That's fucking cute. Come on, people. Otters. The feces of otters are typically identified by their distinct aroma, the smell of which has been described as ranging from freshly mown hay to putrefied fish. Yeah, totally. These are known as sprint. 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 Did I ever tell the story on the show about how I saw an otter poop one time? When I was at I, the yes. Georgia Aquarium yeah. and I danced? Yeah, it's great. Go back to whatever episode that was because <laughs> it's the best. Or just YouTube otter pooping. Worth it. It's kind of, it's a little gross because they're <laughs> technically shitting, but the dance they do is adorable. <laughs> All right, Katie, for this week's recommendation, I have the aforementioned And So I Watch You From Afar. The album I had you grab earlier because I was like, oh, what am I going to talk about? That's like, ah, because I'm seeing them Saturday. Uh, for anyone unfamiliar, Katie, I'm assuming you're not. They are very similar to Add B.C. Shank. Oh. And in that they play kind of blink, blink, blink math, math rock. <laughs> and um, this album actually reminds me a lot of Add B.C.'s second album, which our theme song is not from because it's from the first one. <laughs> it's an album by a band called Add B.C. Shank. Come on, Skahan. Um <laughs> They're really similar, although now they've been working in some vocal stuff, but not quite singing. Mm -hmm. More just like ba da da ba ba da kind of thing. Oh, like acapella. Yeah, exactly. Like they have one song in here which is great called Ka Ba Ta Bo Da Ka. What the fuck? Ka Ba Ta Bo Ka Bo Da Ka or something. I okay. forget. I forget the actual like melody of it, but it's awesome. And I recommend them their album. All hail bright futures. <laughs> Gangs is also good. So, Katie, is that our show? I believe so. Thank you for tuning in on Up and Around to <laughs> <laughs> Blipcast episode 25. Uh, you can f email us at blipcast.gmail.com. We're on Twitter at blipcast, facebook.com slash blipcast. I'm at Overcourt. She's at Lady Laumies. Thank you for watch listening to us. And next time we'll have more prepositions for you. Mm -hmm. and more fun otter facts or not probably am not. i just gonna like continually read off the same wiki page i haven't been this since the first episode <laughs> <laughs> i'm lying Aww. no you're not <laughs> well to be honest this is probably the one i'm gonna remember because <laughs> as you know i fucking love otters. yeah no a pedicorgi the same a pedicorgi puffer yesterday oh it's the best that's adorable his name was byron oh like name. after the the romance writer guy not like that. Like I don't know what you actual mean. Actual romance. He's the guy who like Byron? developed. Yeah, Lord Byron. The guy who wrote the original like adventure stuff. Because before that, books were like all expository and like shitty. And then he was like, "I'm gonna write stuff about adventures and shit." Okay. Okay. That's you're, your second you're, fact of the you're day. Say you're teaching me more. Thank you. <laughs> this one was on. This one was free. This one's on you. So <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you for watching, listening. Bye. Missed out on that kitty face. <laughs> Is that a, uh, I got a kitty face. Should I? Kitty face. What? 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 Everything about that is killing me. Kill um, it? Or what the light? Should I move it more that way so that it balances better? What? Are you, what's wrong? What's? Because it's like all shiny on me. You're just it's just your personality. Oh. It's yeah. All this. Uh, you can move it. You can. Do something alive, I don't know what to do. Oh, there it is. Most interesting video ever. Ever. Of course. Well, people make it sound like these what our shows are like. <laughs> <laughs> We're just giving up. This is the special episode 25 I was referring to. It's just exactly what people think it is. It's just us sitting here. <laughs> Oh,
Interactive modular. <laughs> Let's do duets, Daniel. Duets. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen um, Duke X? Uh, Walk Hard? No. Okay. I want to see it. I love that movie. I have the uh, a version of it that's the director's cuts. <laughs> <laughs> is this really important? Fine. Redo. I, ha- yeah, I can't get you a... Uh... Sorry. Well, fuck you. Oh, wait. Fine. I'll actually try ours then. Okay. Oh, anyway. I have a version of Walk Hard that's the director's cut. That mm-hmm. is the only version I even recommend. It's it's like over two hours long. Mm-hmm. And I, th- I personally think it's worth every second of it. Okay. Because it's uh, an awesome film. Movie night? Movie night. Well, fuck you and your phone, which <laughs> wants no part of my shit. <laughs> okay, well, we have that page up now, so I can just read to you from the wiki page. <laughs> the Otterpedia <laughs> page. Yes. Otterpedia. Fuck, and now it's locked up. Oh my god, are you serious? Don't be a dick about this. Listen, phone. I'm gonna ruin you. Greetings. <laughs> <laughs> My phone's all hot because it's like I can't work this hard. 